What is going on my fellow YouTubers, Jay here from Maji and Jay. Today I am starting the month with some cool headphones that I got directly from Amazon.com. Now before I continue with the product review and unboxing, I want to apologize for not completing a video in the past week and a half. The reason is that I am currently doing something positive and it's actually life changing, but don't worry, like I said, it's positive, it's not negative, and it's actually something that you guys must know on a separate video, so don't worry, it's coming very, very shortly. But anyways, what we have here is the Sinsoko ZH01 headphones, and these are truly great when it comes to sound quality. They have electronic noise canceling technology. They have the Bluetooth 4.0. The battery is able to last about 12 hours. They are kind of rugged, but let me tell you, these are the best headphones that I've had for the price, and they do compare to brands like Sony, Beats, uh, even Bose. I went directly to the retail store. I compare a similar song on both of them, and let me tell you that I am truly thrilled with the quality of these right here. Now, I have to admit that maybe the quality of the actual build is not the best out there, but we're gonna be talking about that in just a moment. For right now, we can see in the box here, we have the picture of the product. On the right-hand side, we have the brand with some of the features. And if you look here on the right-hand side of the box, we have a Wi-Fi logo. I really don't understand what that's for, but these can be used obviously for music. You can make phone calls. You can pair it to your uh, mobile device via Bluetooth. And finally, you can connect the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. On the back side of the box, we got here a better picture of the headphones. And then on the left hand side, it says no noise, just music. And that's exactly what they are giving us here. I mean, I tried to listen to my wife conversation when I activated the electronic noise canceling and I couldn't hear a thing. So these are great if you're traveling, if you just want a peaceful time after work, like I do sometimes. And let me tell you guys, you won't regret the purchase at all. So let's go ahead and slide this box. We can see we have a white box underneath and it says Sinzoko once again. And then if we put this flat, this box opens like a little door and then inside we have a very nice casing. This is one of the best casings that I've ever seen on any headphone out there in the market. It has a very long zipper that goes across here and we can tell that it looks very nice and durable or at least I can feel it in my hands. It doesn't feel like something that will break in a week. So opening the zipper inside, we will find the headphones, okay? And here they are, very well presented. So these are the Beast. And so far we have here a volume up and down or volume rocker, if you wanna call it that way. This is a power key and also a Bluetooth key. We have the forward and also to retrieve. Then up here we have two noise canceling microphones, which is the cool technology that I was talking about before. We have some decorative grills on the side of the speakers. We had the branding and then this is the electronic noise canceling switch so you can turn it on and off and then on the other side here we have some pads and the cool part is that your ears go inside of the pads and not on the outside so they feel very comfortable on the top here on the headband we have some cushion as well and it feels very similar to the beats cushion to be honest with you the material that they use feels very similar then here we have the hinges and this is where the quality comes to play and as I mentioned before, these are made of partially metal and partially plastic. So this part right here is made of aluminum and then the outer casing is all made of plastic. Also keep in mind that the hinges um, are aluminum, but it's held by plastic. So you guys must be very careful. I have read a lot of stories where if you are a little bit too rough to it, they can break easily. And the same thing goes here to the other side. You can see, okay, even though they are very nice and sturdy, it looks a little bit fragile, so just keep that in mind. Other than that, the sound is truly amazing. So setting this aside, let's go ahead and take a look here at what else comes inside of the box. And I do apologize that I can't cover everything with the cameras because this casing is quite big. But we do have here a uh, 3.5 millimeter auxiliary cable, and it goes from one end to the other end. We have here uh, a USB cable. This is for charging purposes. We do have some manuals, and the manuals are basically explaining how to charge it, how to pair it, and such. So nothing really informative, just basics. Also, we have here a little warranty card, okay? And this is so you can keep it around. Uh, we do have here a adapter. Yep, we do have here a adapter, okay? And then inside of this casing, we have nothing else. So let's go ahead and set it aside and talk a little bit more about the headphones. 
Now we have the battery completely charged on these headphones and I have to say that it's able to last about 12 hours if you're using it for music. If you're using it for phone calls and music, it's going to last you about 10 hours and a half, which I find to be very acceptable. As I mentioned before, the left key here where you see the Bluetooth logo is also a power key, so you must hold it for about three seconds before turning it on. And then here on the right hand side, we have that dedicated uh, switch for the uh, noise canceling capabilities and it does power on by itself. So for example, if you have the left hand side turned off, you can flick the switch and you can see that right now the noise canceling or the electronic noise canceling is currently activated and that's because they have independent batteries, which is something really cool. So to turn it on, as I said before, just hold it for about three seconds until you see the blue light on the bottom side. There we go, it says turned on pairing. And now it will connect automatically to your smartphone without having to do anything if you have it already connected. And I believe that I am connected already. So to confirm it, let's go here to settings. And by the way, this is my Huawei phone. Let me tell you that it is the best smartphone that I've used in quite a while when it comes to user experience. As a matter of fact, the camera test is coming very soon or the camera comparison with the Galaxy S7. So like I said before, I've been very busy, so I do apologize for all the inconvenience. Anyways, let's go ahead and jump here into Bluetooth. And there we can see that we are connected to the ZH01. Um, also, if you want to disconnect and repair, you can just hold it for about two seconds and it'll go in pairing mode. And if you want to turn it off, you have to hold it and um, press it and hold it for about another three seconds and it'll turn off for you. So in this case, we're gonna be doing the testing with the noise canceling turned on. By the way, on the bottom here, we have the charging port. Also, we got the microphone together with the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. And the cool part is that you can be in low battery and still use the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack something that not every headphone out there offers. And like I say, guys, I find these to be extremely cool and extremely great for the price, $99, and you are getting a sound quality similar to the Bose headphones. So here, without further ado, what I'm going to do is try to play some songs um, using non-copyrighted songs, so I do apologize if you guys don't like them. I'm trying to use the NCS, uh, which is no copyright songs, and unfortunately, some of them are copyrighted, and I'm getting a lot of hits on my channel. So if this gets a hit, I do apologize, but just take my word for it. The sound quality is truly amazing. So here, let's go ahead and play some songs. Well guys, there we witness a little bit of the sound quality on these. Now something that I want to mention about the build quality of them is that sometimes they squeak when you move this little wheel here. As you guys can see, it sounds like it's a little bit rusty. So these are a little bit of the quality controls that I noticed about the headphones. Now, as I said before, when it comes to the sound quality, the mids, the highs, even the bass, it's all well balanced to where you get a lot of comfort when listening to these and they are quite similar to the sound quality of the Bose. I'm not saying that these are better than Bose or that they beat the Bose by any means. As a matter of fact, they don't, but they are very, very close. And yes, they definitely beat the Beats brand. I know that a lot of you guys are not a fan of Beats because truly they're not the best sound out there in the market. 
but these compared to other headphones out there they are extremely valuable and i have to say that i'm quite pleased with the exception of the build quality that seems to be a little bit questionable now even with these little minor flaws i think that these are definitely worth the 99 dollars that they're asking for and with this being said the link has been provided below and as always if you guys do have any questions you know exactly what to do just leave a comment below don't forget to like this video if you find it helpful thanks for watching and i'll see you guys on my next one